This Sportsnet Central update is presented by Drayton Resort and Casino. The Warriors are winning and getting healthier, including that man, Andre Godala, who's been scrimmaging, and he's been doing pretty well in the scrimmages, according to Steve Kerr. He's only played in three games this season. No update on his return, but the Warriors want to get him ready for the playoffs as Andre Godala ramps up, and of course, number 30, Stephen Curry. The report is he could be back Sunday against the L.A. Lakers in a big-time game down in Hollywood. Of course, the start of a three-game road trip where the Warriors have struggled on the road. Only seven wins away from home. But Steph coming back to this roster right now, he's ramping it up. As you see, street clothes, he's past that. Resuming on-court activities, past that. Practicing, and now he's scrimmaging, and he's nearly back, baby. That means doom and gloom for the rest of the league, Fezzi Fell. He looks extremely good on the court right now. Conditioning is, is always incredible. He does a lot of lung capacity work, and so he's always in shape. He's a guy that continues working. What this Warriors team is excited for to have Steph back is that he continues to move. He gets a, a lot of guys involved, a high-confidence team right now he's coming back to. But you got to remember, it's not one plus one equals to two because when Steph Curry comes back, it's going to be a new team. And so he has to be reintegrated back into the team. But part of it is understanding that when he comes back and the chemistry starts to fire and you add that to this, it's going to be way greater than two. It's going to be one plus one equals to three. And so that's kind of how I think about what's happening. But why I said it that way is that you've, at first, you got to get used to maybe there will be a lull because they got to get back to, to having SC30 with, with, you know, getting back used to him again. But, yeah, I'm excited for that. He just threw a math test at us, the guy from Vanderbilt. <laughs> with Steph Curry, one plus one equals seven. <laughs> Listen, during, seven. The se during the season, we always talk about non-Steph Curry minutes. When Steph got hurt, right. the Dallas game, they were 27 and 27. Mm -hmm. Now they're four games above 500, Season 34 high. and 30, yeah. which is a tremendous, I think, energy boost uh, for Steph. And just recently, Steph kind of put the entire team on notice. From this point on, we approach every game like it's a playoff game. And they've been heading with business and yes, tying the season have. high with five straight wins. And part of that is because number 11, Clay Thompson, since January 1st, he's been on fire, averaging over 26 points per game, the three point percentage in the 44 percentile, 44 and a half percent. Uh, his field goal percentage is 46%. This guy is on a heater, and he's making plays. You see the passes to Kevon Looney cutting and making plays here. And then he hits the big three there to get the Warriors a lead. Clay Thompson can do no wrong right now. He's just making great reads, great shot selection. Uh, when they take away the three-point shot, he's getting two feet in the paint, uh, finishing at the rim. It's said Bonte making great plays for his teammates. Made a huge three-point shot over C.J. McCollum. Uh, just like you said, he's playing as good as, as, as ever his entire career, which is saying something. And he's guarding, Fezzi. That's exactly where I was going to go, Bonte. You got me, beat me to the punch. <laughs> Not only is he doing this on the offensive end, he's also an amazing defender, and he's getting back to where he actually, he always said he wanted to get back to. He's always a two-way player in this NBA. And so now he wants to get back to it. He's not happy just with playing the offense on the offensive end. He wants to be a great defender. So you see him out there, Brandon, Brandon Ingram. You see him switching off with JK out there at the top of the key. This guy right now is playing incredible basketball. He's a leader for this team. He's getting his teammates involved on the offensive end. There's a lot of things that you can be happy about. And take that, Charles Barkley. What you got to say about that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. huh? uh -oh. <laughs> right. Charles will be here for the playoffs. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we talked pregame about the adjustments offense, right? right. Attacking the paint, mm -hmm. not taking as many three-point shots, yep. winning the points in the paint. I think defensively, this, during his homestand, Steve Kerr used some different uh, strategies defensively. And tonight went to the kind of typical man-to-man. -man. Yep. I think the box in one zone look really has helped their man-to-man -man look because I feel like they're much more aware on how, you know, don't close out so much to every three-point shooter in turn not getting beat off the dribble. Right. Remember we were talking yep. about the blow-bys. Yeah. So I think they got much better awareness on how much space they can give at the three-point line in turn can control the, the dribble much better individually. And then contest, they're gonna miss shots. A team like the Pelicans, they shoot 35% from the three-point line. Give them a chance to miss some of those shots. And the big improvement on the defensive rebounding as a unit mm -hmm. has really propelled this team. Yeah, I'll rebound the Pelicans 43 to 29 tonight. They win their fifth straight. Let's hear from Steve Kerr after our AT&T Fiber Fast recap. Get hyper fast internet with AT&T Fiber. Of course, the Warriors, they have been handling business here at Chase Center when attending their last 11 at home. They get Stephen Curry back after missing 11 games. But without Stephen Curry, 
Curry. The Warriors go 7-4 to weather the storm. A game-high 27 from Klay Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga with 19.7 rebounds. An all-around good night for the Golden State Warriors. By the way, Jermichael Green, 14 points off the bench, including six rebounds. And Steve Kerr must be happy as his, at his press conference right now as he sits down with the media, presented by BMW. 5-0 homestand, I imagine, feels pretty good. What what clicked for the team over this last week or so, in your opinion? I think just a, a lot of um, grit. You know, every one of these wins, it felt like it was marked by um, our team kind of getting over the hump, a lot of, you know, overcoming a lot of deficits, um, turning up the defense and uh, grinding out games down the stretch. So it's been exciting to see our team, I think, turn a corner, but – we still need to go out and, and win on the road, but this was a, a, a great homestand for us. You gave Kaminga, I think, 32 minutes. What did you see from him early and, and maybe what was based on matchup that, that you liked from him tonight? Well, he, uh, this uh, was one of his best games, so was last night. I mean, he's making some strides. Offensively, I liked that he was going to the rim and cutting and finding his way there. I thought the play of the game was uh, Dante's uh, offensive board and then JK cut behind the play and, and got the dunk. But um, you know, the more he can attack and use his athleticism uh, offensively, the better. And I think he's doing that. And then defensively, he's by far our best option on Ingram. And um, I thought he had a, a great game defensively. And so it was really it was fun to watch him play tonight. It's fun to see his development continue. Steve, you mentioned you know you have to go out and do it on the road. Um, based on the way you guys won these last five games, how encouraging, how encouraged do you feel about where you guys stand as you go on the road and what do you want to see as you get out well, there? Well, the defense has to hold up, and for whatever reason, that hasn't been the case. You know, our defense um, on the road all year has been bad, and it's been really good at home. But um, I think th these last four or five games, it's been the best and most consistent uh, defense we've played. And uh, hopefully that, that translates. And um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot, see what happens. After that first quarter when they shot 67%, anything said? Or do you, is it just a matter of guys seeing it and going out there and doing it? It's just a matter of going out and doing it. I, I, I thought this was a game where we had to battle fatigue. We've just had uh, a lot of games, third and four nights. Um, I thought Draymond's tank was pretty low. Um, you know, we, we had to just uh, gut it out and uh, find a way. I thought Jordan really did a great job down the stretch of running the team and, and finding open guys, getting us into our offense and, and uh, knocking down free throws. And then Clay obviously just took over. I mean, he had. Uh, some brilliant shots, including that that gorgeous three from you know ten feet beyond the top of the three point line. Uh, that was an incredible shot, and just the way he took over offensively, and we were able to run everything through him those last few minutes was was fun to watch. Second straight night with Jordan taking twelve free throw attempts. How big is that for him, and how much of an emphasis has that been for him lately? Yeah, uh, he's he can get to the rim and. Um, Draw fouls, it allows us to get our defense set, get some easy points, um, and it sets a good tone for us. You know, we're, we're not a team that shoots a ton of free throws, so if, uh, if Jordan can get there, um, it's, a, it's a big help. And, um, you know, we've got to continue to, to harp on that with him and with JK to, to try to get to the rim and, and um, play with that force. Ingram and McCollum, two three-level scorers, held them to 14 for 37 from the field. You mentioned that the defense is playing better. What, what specifically is it? Is it communication? Is it effort, connectedness, any tweaks you're making? I just think we're more attuned to what we're trying to do um, game plan-wise. Um, you know, early in the season, it just seemed like we, we couldn't um, – Quite put it together, and um, during this stretch, we've we've been uh, much more locked in um, with with the game plan, with the keys, with um, you know the big picture of what we're trying to do each game. And um, I think it makes some sense that it's happening now because it's the stretch run, and a lot of our younger guys now have been through this. And uh, but that that's been a problem all year, kind of you know being. Uh, focused on exactly what we're trying to accomplish each night, but also being able to execute um, the, uh, the fundamentals that are necessary to, to accomplish that. So it's starting to come together, but we have to do it on the road 
first before we can, uh, you know, get too excited. And Steve, what does it say about Dante, who hadn't made a shot all night, and then huge three there, uh, with three minutes to go in the game? Well, he's done that all year. He just he's he loves the big moments, and uh, doesn't matter if he's uh, been hot or or hasn't made a shot like tonight. He's he's ready for that that big one, and uh, that but between that shot and um, you know the the play that I mentioned, the offensive board with the pass to J.K. Um, you know, he he just continues to to make huge plays for us. Dante's been amazing. He's having an incredible year. All right, that was Steve Kerr. We welcome everybody back to the gatehouse here at Thrive City for Warriors Post Game Live, presented by Toyota. Chris Mullen, Fessis Azili, I am Bonte Hill, and you heard from Steve Kerr there saying that there is a chance Steph Curry will play on Sunday. Needs clearance from the training staff tomorrow, so we should have an update on that. But let's focus in on Jordan Poole. Well, look, he didn't shoot the ball particularly well today. 3 of 13 from the floor, but the last two nights, he's, made, he's been able to get to the free throw line 24 times, going 23 of 24 for the charity stripe over the last two nights. Back-to-back -back games with 12 free throw attempts, 0 for 5 for the three-point line, but seven assists. And look, he still have an impact, Bully, because I think he's playing hard defensively. I think he's playing hard to get the team in the right set. And he made all the right basketball plays tonight. Well, we've talked pre pregame how important get to the free throw line is, not just for Jordan Poole, for any scorer. Because on certain nights, you're not going to be making all your shots. So he goes three for 13, gets to the line 12 times, winds up, winds up having a great offensive game. You mentioned the seven assists. But, you know, the free throw is such an important play. Not only do you get to the free throw line, Steve Kerr just said, you also get to set your defense, mm -hmm. right? So you're keeping the other team under control. And then you're putting fouls on good players, right? You know, so all of a sudden they're not as aggressive the next time down. So it's, it's so important for Jordan Poole to attack the paint with Jonathan Kaminga, Clay Thompson. And it all stems from the beautiful spacing and the threat of the three point shot. But now all of a sudden that threat of the three point shot is opening up all different options for the Warriors, not exclusively just shooting threes. I think those are huge shoe, shoes for Jordan Poole to fill, is Steph Curry's. And you can't really fill Steph Curry's shoes. But here's what JP has done over this course of time that Steph has been out. He's gotten so much better at his chemistry. His chemistry with Clay is unbelievable right now. You see a lot of those passes to him. He's getting better at affecting the game at different points, understanding when to involve his teammates, when to score. That for him and for this team is going to be huge come the end of the year. I think that Clay Thompson, uh, Clay Thompson, Jordan Poole, his assist numbers are up, his rebound numbers are up, and then his steals. You see him playing defense, knowing the right place to go, and then the energy of this team is up because of him because he's making those hustle plays like he did last game. He was went out of bounds. He did that again right. today. He's running down the court doing all these things. For your point guard to lead the energy of your group, I think that's huge. And only three turnovers tonight. Uh, assist turnover ratio has been great, but to me, not not letting a three for thirteen night affect his overall impact right. on the game is huge. Yeah, that is impressive. Remember, he was a top free throw shooter last year in the NBA, twenty three and twenty four the last few nights for Jordan Poole as he takes his game to LA. Okay, and the Warriors are rolling right now. We're going to hear from Jonathan Kaminga on the other side. Plus, look around the association and check out the up to date Western Conference standings. A lot happening in the NBA. More coming up on Warriors Post Game Live.